going on guys in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make the best 3d text for like all your headers banners whatever you want to make so let's just get straight into the video actually but before i get start this video i just want to have a like goal of 75 likes if we hit 75 likes i will be having a crazy video for you guys coming out so make sure you try to hit that and let's just get straight into the video and just to be clear all the packs that i'm using in this video will be on my pay hip which there is a link in the description to check it out and I will be leaving a discount code somewhere in this video for 10% off your order. And don't forget to join the Discord as well and enjoy the video. So there's actually a new GFX pack out. Just go check out my pay hip to get it. It's completely for free. And yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. So first of all, you're going to be needing this uh, this software right here called Cinema 4D. I don't know how to like, like you have to get on Max and download it. Don't ask me how, like, how to download this or anything. Like I don't, I, I can't tell you guys. All right. I just... This is what you have to do. You just need this software here. Once you've gotten it, get back to the video. All right. So once you have downloaded it, you actually want to download my Lightroom, which is um, my Lightroom, which is actually going to be in tutorial stuff. If you just scroll up a bit like around around, yeah, it's this one. You want to download this Lightroom right here and you want to open it up. Now, if you don't know how to open the file in Cinema 4D, you want to click file and open and choose the file. All right, I've opened it up now, but uh, so yeah, I've already made a video on like this before, but I'm actually going to be adding some touches that I haven't mentioned before because I see a lot of people doing the same things and not trying to like add on more stuff and you know, so this is going to be like a more advanced kind of tutorial of the 3D that I already have, like the one I already have tutorial, but make sure you go check out my other one if you don't want to go too advanced. But yeah, let's just get uh, straight into the video. So what I'm going to be doing is you want to hold here. You want to put warp on you want to just drag it down here and you, it's gonna look like this i know but what you gotta do is you gotta go back uh here and fit to parents there we go and now you can change okay not not the scale hold on you can change the tension right there on how warped you want it to be because uh it's actually pretty like a lot of people just have it straight like this it's all right you can have that if you want but I actually like to warp mines in a little bit, just like this or something. So it just looks better. So this is what it looks like, see? But yeah. So what you're going to do, you need a font that that you're going to be using for your text. Uh, I'm just going to call this text and let's actually go look for a font. So I actually use this website called thefont.com. It's probably one of the best like uh, websites you can use for you know for finding fonts and stuff this is what i use uh, and other designers use so we're just gonna find the text real quick that we're gonna work with all right so i found the font right here it's called after Kelly. i just found a font that i'll be using for this video but you just found uh, you just gotta find your own font and don't try to copy other people's fonts because a lot of people do that actually and it's not a good thing to do you need to be more creative with your stuff that's it's it's all about creativity to be honest so there we go. I've now added this. I'm gonna just make it black real quick. Cause I want the text to be black. All right, there you go. So uh, yeah, let me just warp this a bit more. So now you just gotta warp it till till you do well, like till you find what's good for you. And you can actually change the like what is it? What do you, how should I say this? Um, so you can actually change the. The width of the text some people like to have it like this some people like to have it this so you just choose kind of what you want yourself because some like some people want it thin some people want it thick you don't you don't know like i mean i don't know what you want so but uh, we're gonna go like 155 and let's just pre-render this and see how this looks so this is what the text yeah that's how it's gonna look like so yeah after you've added your font just go ahead and render what you do here then you press here press on save and you just pick here and then you just pick where you want to save it. I actually have a, a folder myself called text renders. And this is where I just, uh, this is where I just, uh, you know, put my renders. And you want to actually, this one right here, you're going to call 3D. Because in a sec, you're going to see what I'm going to do. But all right, so if you want to render, just press here and make sure you call it whatever. And just 3D behind. After you rendered it, you just want to close this. And now what you want to do is you see depth right here, put it to zero. And now you want to do the same thing here, here, and now you just want to change the name to 2D. And now you want to hit render again. All right, so the code for a 10% discount on this video is going to be user 2024. 
and make sure you just go use it and you'll get 10% off. Enjoy the rest of the video. All right, so you want to open your header, uh, your banner or header, or whatever you design you want to make it on. And you just want to uh, put those uh, renders you just made into the Photoshop. All right, just like this. So as you can see, this is the 2D one. So just rename it to 2D. This is the 3D one and just name it to 3D. All right, so let's just make it bigger actually. Control T and then hold Alt to make it bigger. There we go. That should be good. All right. Next, you want to open this Uso Text PSD, which is a text tutorial uh, PSD, which you're going to be copying my styles and CCs and stuff. But um, yeah, that's going to be in my Discord as well, where I just showed you in the start of the video where like it should be. So let's go ahead and find that. All right. So here's going to be the text. What you now want to do, as you see, you have a 3D and 2D. So what you want to do is you want to go to the 3D run and you're going to see a 3D right here. You're going to right click that, copy layer style, go here and then paste layer style right there. So it looks like this. Now you want to do the same for here. But before you do that, you could add some cracks like to the sides right here if you want to. Uh, and let's just see. You don't actually need these right here unless you're, you have color on your text. But for this video, I actually don't have color for this text. But yeah, I could have like cracks like this way. Let me just, I can see there it's a bit off. So yeah, just like this. So you could have cracks like this. It's going to add cracks to that. But um, you really like, it's your banner. It's your header. It's your whatever. So you can add whatever you want. But uh, yeah, we're going to just keep them right now. Now you want to do the same thing for 2D. You want to press copy layer style. And then paste. There we go. Now it looks something like this, which already looks pretty good in my opinion. Uh, so you can actually copy all of these right after just like that. Uh, and you can choose your image that you want inside the text yourself. It really depends on what you want yourself. Um, so yeah, but, but just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to add this one right here. Uh, just like that. And we're actually gonna change the hue saturation to zero. There we go. Because we don't want color for this one. I actually want to make a plain black text for this one. Uh, but anyway, if you have color, you can just mess around with these settings and everything. And yeah, just see what you like. All right. So the next step is actually going to go to the 3D one. You want to hold control and plus shift. And you want to go to the top. Just press press this group right here control plus J and you want to press control E there we go and now you just have a uh, you know you have this as backup and you have this as you know you want to mess around with so what you're actually gonna do now is press control plus J filter blur and Gaussian blur you're gonna put that to 10 now you want to press here and you want to press lighten and I want to drag the opacity down a bit let me know if I'm going too fast, guys, because I actually some people are telling me I go too fast in my tutorials, but you just got to slow down the video, I guess, or something and it will work. So, yeah, you want to put whatever opacity you want, whatever looks good for you. Don't put too much because it will be too blurry. Just put like I like to keep this low uh, because I don't like to add too much uh, glow anymore. I used to add a lot of glow, but then you want to actually control J this once you're done. Filter blur and radial blur and then you want to put it to 10 and bow there we go now you can just choose and you actually want to instead of lighten you want to do linear dodge add so you're gonna choose whatever you want i actually want to put the opacity down more than the last one on this one but yeah anyway now it will look something like this what you actually want to do is you want to merge all these filter camera raw filter now, once you're here, you want to mess around with the settings and just make sure you are you like this one. Make sure you like the outcome of this. Just mess around with these settings and see what looks best. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to do that right now. All right, so that's my settings done. Now it looks more like this. Uh, you actually want to do the glow part again if you want to if you want more glow on it But uh, as you can see now it has like a little bit less glow, but it still has something But the next step actually is gonna be you want to make a normal layer like this you want to 
uh, get the brush tool you want to have white on and just make it smaller and what you want to do is just go around the edges just like this all right there we go now i've added it all around the text let me just check uh, make sure you only get it on the white parts so it, like right here if it's fading and there's still text right here don't do it just do it on the white parts but let's see if i have messed up All right, so once you have done that, you just want to press here and you want to put it to soft light right there. You can turn the opacity down if you want. Now you just want to open any pack that has some particles like stars, something like this. Uh, I'm just going to be using my Shinobi GFX pack because I know it does have it. So yeah, but what I have to do, you just want to get like a star. It can be just any type of star thing you can find. Just want to have it like this. Boom. All right, there we go. Now we have like a star like this. Now what you want to do is you want to go to the edges of this and you want to add it. Make sure you add it on the sharp edges. So that wasn't actually a sharp edge. I mean, it's it's an all right edge. And now make sure you just control J to copy the layer. And I'll just do it all like around the edges of the text. And make sure you have different sizes and different root like rotation on the stars so it's not so it doesn't just go the same way and it's the same size <laughs> So now I've actually kind of realized I picked the wrong font for this kind of uh, tutorial because this font actually doesn't have any sharp edges almost. Like, look, it's just it just rounds up everywhere. But yeah, we can work with this. All right, there you go. Once you have added more, yeah, you'll see that it looks a lot better. And I could probably add one more here. All right, so ah, it works, whatever. So yeah, I'll group it like this. And there you go. Have it like this. So you have now two backups. You have this backup and you have this backup in case you want to change something. But now what we want to do, I'm going to be showing you guys like another text. Uh, like this is a, like your text is pretty much done here. You can you can be done with this text right here and just add it to everything. But I'm actually going to be showing you guys some little extra stuff that you can do with your text or like with your header thing. So let's go to the first one right here. And now I'm going to control J so that duplicate this and there we go and we're just gonna have it behind the text so what you want to do now is you want to press ctrl u and put the lightness all the way down and now you just want to all right so like that so what you want to do is you want to do like this you want to go back to this copy and you can just put anything behind the text to be honest it doesn't really matter it could be um it could be flowers it just make sure you darken it right uh oh god damn i forgot to okay well that's not gonna work but yeah um now what you can do is you can just like this filter radio blur for example and you can just put the opacity down and you, just, you can get like a cool effect going on it really depends on what like what you like what your header really is about uh but yeah it's a little cool effect to have for you guys but not i'm not still done i still have another thing to show you guys so what you want to do is you want to go here filter and you actually oh wait before that you actually want to duplicate the layer of your text you want to go filter filter gallery 
and now choose for example like chrome for example let's see make sure you make sure it looks good or what you think looks good of course put the detail to 10 mesh around with the settings whatever looks good i'm gonna do i might do seven actually yeah six or seven doesn't matter i'm gonna do six and now once you have it like this uh you want to do you want to put it to either over overlay or soft light whatever looks best uh we're gonna actually do overlay and now you want to put the opacity down until you get what you like so it, it's actually better on a colored um text because you can see more then but this works still looks cool oh and by the way this looks like this because um i actually merged the layer so i'm just delete this but uh yeah you can also go to filter camera raw fill i mean filter and uh actually merge these layers first then you want to go filter filter gallery go to here and do paint dubs and you want to just copy these settings right here one and two and boom so it will look better i know it doesn't look like much but there you can see it just makes it like more sharper ish but yeah so that's actually going to be the text tutorial for today i really hope you guys did enjoy this video smash a like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video and yeah i appreciate you guys for watching so i'm gonna see you guys in the next video